Now, let's practice counting in tenths and hundredths. So first, we have 0 0.73, 0 0.74, then 0 0.75. So what are the next seven numbers in this sequence? Well, you can see that counting in hundredths isn't much more difficult than counting in ones. The only thing that we need to check is 0 0.80 because we don't normally write zeros on the end of decimal numbers. So 0 0.80 is just written 0 0.8. Now we have 0 0.02, 0 0.12, 0 0.22. So what comes next? Well, you can see the pattern, and you can see that here we're not counting in hundredths, we're counting in tenths because it's the tenths digit that's changing. Now, 0 0.97, 0 0.98, 0 0.99. So what comes next? Well, we could write 1.00, but if you have a decimal point and then zeros on the end of a number, you really have a whole number. So instead of 1.00, we would normally just write 1. 0 0.37, 0 0.47, 0 0.57. What are the next seven numbers in this sequence? Well, you can see that it's the tenths digit that's changing, so we're counting in tenths. And notice 0 0.97. If we add a tenth, we get 1.07. And it's important to show the zero because we need to show that the seven hundredths is staying the same. But if we add one tenth to nine tenths, that gives us one whole. 3.95, 3.96, 3.97. So here we're counting in hundredths because it's the hundredths digit that's changing. So those are the next seven numbers in the sequence. But again, 4.00 would usually just be written as four because we don't need 0 .00 on the end of a number. We have a whole number. But it's important to spot that because we're counting in hundredths, not tenths, that after four, we have 4.01. Finally, 2.45, 2.55, 2.65. So here we're counting in tenths, it's the tenths digit that's changing, and we need to be careful when we get to 2.95, we then have 3.05. So the hundredths digit stays the same, and if you ignore the hundredths digit and just look at the other digits, we have 282930. So that's very similar to counting in ones. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now. I'll see you in the next video.